So we're looking for a good solution to covering this kind of ugly black engine cover area. Mm -hmm. And we've kind of like went through a few things of... Yeah. We thought about putting linoleum up there. And in the end, we decided to put some carpet up there. And, um, and this is like an outdoor, indoor, outdoor carpet. So it's pretty rugged. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's still kind of cozy if somebody wants to just throw some pillows up there and sit down, lounge. So this uh, room is nearly done. We just have to do a strip here and a strip here. And this bathroom, which is just for emergency uses, it's just to have in case they need one. We've also gone ahead and put in a wire for a light that'll go in the ceiling here. And then possibly a fan. If they want to put a ventilation fan, it's wired for that. And then over here, we've got a light switch wired in for the little utility room, storage room. There. It's coming along rather quickly. <laughs> Peanut butter and honey and watermelon. And then I had a tea, tea string. You gonna sit? Come sit. What do you think? Is it nice? Yeah. yeah. You like it? Yeah. Oh, you're ready. All right. All right, guys. So, you know, we had originally done a linoleum here. Okay. So and I'm filming for a second. Right. Welcome to the bus life. Today we are working on the coffee house bus conversion. Uh, my grandparents have come here to visit. Uh, he's going to be helping out today. But um, yeah, I've been working on some wiring. Alright guys, so we had originally done the linoleum here and first of all, we're actually changing our floor color from what we were originally going to do and the linoleum had originally matched the floor color. So that's got to be changed. And also we noticed that the linoleum just was not sticking with our spray adhesive. And so I actually got this really high strength 3M spray adhesive, which I think I like better than the Gorilla stuff. And it actually, and I got this carpet. You can get a roll of it at, at Home Depot. It's a six by eight roll. You can get it for like, I don't remember, 10 or 20 bucks. And it seems to be adhering really well. And actually, I don't know. I think it's gonna give it a little bit more of a cozy feel. My parents are here from Pensacola, Florida. Here's my dad, Sandy. Hey guys. And there, he's helping out on the bus too. Wiring. This bus, this is gonna be a coffee house bus. So it's gonna be like a coffee shop on wheels. Um, it is not a bus that we're doing for ourselves. It's for a ministry that we work with from time to time um, called The Last Reformation. And we have to have this bus done in like two weeks or less. Arwen will probably be selling her coffee in this bus and possibly be working in this bus. So she's excited about that. One of the reasons why you guys haven't seen much of me is because I've been behind the camera. I've done some editing. My job is kind of to um, uh, get the videos out and uh, I'm that's, that's what I'm in charge of. Another thing I've been working on is I just released my new stop motion video. It's called Billy Mark's Dojo. It's on my channel, Trash Can Films. Uh, I recommend you guys to check it out because it took a lot of work and time and it turned out pretty awesome. You know, you do work and then you just gotta rip it off and start over. Anybody out there need some linoleum? So here's a little trailer for the video that I just finished. <laughs> wow, you guys are amazing. Now wait a minute, can we talk about this? No! So we're making progress here. Got our fridge, so this little fridge here will hold drinks that you can purchase that will be here. It's really coming along. So the other day we went and picked out two Predator generators. Um, these are 3,500 watt and also they're, they're able to be wired in parallel. So I've got a parallel kit coming for that. 
I'll put all the links to these in the video description. And then here we've got a um, 12 volt or 110 volt uh, cooler. So you can literally run this off of a, um, like a cigarette lighter plug-in. It's got an adapter thing like this that you'll be able to plug it into a regular outlet as well. This one is a, I don't know how to pronounce this, Stackle. I ordered this on Amazon. I'll put the link to this in the video description, but each compartment can be a fridge or a freezer. You can control all of the settings. There's a control panel up front here. It's even got a battery protection on it. It's got a little light, a little readout screen, everything. You know, all this is theory right now. <laughs> We still have to test it all. Okay, so what we are doing is we're gonna start paneling the side of this, and we're not paneling it with just normal panel. We're taking this kind of rough sawn uh, wood that's got you know, different color grains. Actually, every color pretty much that you would get out of coffee, you're gonna get out of this wood. So you get your light roast, you get your medium roast, you get your dark roast. Julie, 15 and 7, 8. All right, guys, so today I am doing epoxy. And for those of you who follow our channel, you know that in our Current bus, we did an epoxy tabletop. I've done a, some epoxy jobs since then. So I got my epoxy here, my mixing cup, a trowel. Now this is a notched trowel, a 1 16th notched trowel, but actually I find using this side actually works really good. And I'll show you that in a minute. And then of course a respirator and a sander. So I'm sanding this whole thing down with 150 grit sandpaper. Um, I've got some plastic down on the floor because this stuff can get messy. If you're going to do epoxy, you've got to kind of let it come, you know, fall over the edges and it's going to drip and it's going to make a big mess. So make sure and put some plastic down if you're going to do something similar to this. Definitely make sure and wear a respirator because this stuff kind of stinks. We're going to go ahead and sand this down and get to applying our epoxy and it should turn out beautiful. So if you're doing this, on a bus conversion, you're gonna want to make sure that your tabletop or your countertop is pretty level. Like so we got two parts to this. You've got your resin and then you've got your hardener. Once these two combine, they start activating and it'll set up pretty quick. You wanna pour first your resin. So we're gonna do 12 ounces of the resin. I, ju I just wanna let you guys know, they recommend that you pour your hardener into another cup of equal parts and then you pour, mix that together. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna waste cups. So if you wanna do it that way, you can, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pour in another 12 ounces of the hardener and then they want you to mix it for six minutes, pour it into a new cup and mix it for another six minutes. But I'm not gonna do that either. <laughs> I'm just gonna pour it into here and I'm gonna mix it for 12 minutes. So let's do yeah. that. So we got two coats of epoxy on here and I think we're gonna call that good. It looks, I mean, it looks pretty good. Nice gloss to it, no bubbles. It looks good. Now we'll just leave it alone, let it dry. Smoking my smoke, I'm my coat. 